Hang on. How's it going? How it do? Alright, so today we're gonna be doing the All Mother. And yeah, then we'll be trying to get to HR 100 to fight Valstrax. We'll do that. And then I'm gonna start making long swords. <laughs> Cause uh, as much as I like sword and shield, there's just something special about long sword, and I want to get back to it. Um, I guess I'll do this one. Time to go. Oh yeah, what's my rank right now? Oh yeah. Also, I guess before I start, hold on. Did it show my rank and I just don't... 63, yeah. Sometimes it really do be that way. Big stick good, it's true. It's facts. Also, I turn so the latency is on normal right now, okay? Uh, but I also turned closed captions on. If anyone would like, like if you don't speak English very well or something, try you can try that out and see if it even works. <laughs> is this PC? Yes. Also, I finally broke down and got some mods, specifically two mods. Although it's more like just one mod. Uh, the actually shit, I just ate. Oh well. Uh, I got the mod that changes the cutscenes from 30 FPS to 60. Because there's no reason whatsoever for that to, you know, not be 60. Um. Yeah. Let's go. Pretty sure I have everything I need. Also, I started making. Started making a. Uh, a set. Just, you know, critical eye attack boost. A little bit of evade window because that's just the talisman that I have. And whatever decorations that I have. I just threw them in, slapped them on. Alright, let's go in. Oh, you don't have a rise on PC? Oof. Apologies. Yeah, look at this. 60 FPS. It's. Instantly recognizable to me. I know some people said that they can't really tell if it's 60 or 30 or what. But straight up, like, it's so obvious to me that it's like, I, I just can't believe when people say that, honestly. <laughs> but, you know. Also, spoilers for the end of the game. Although, honestly, there's not really a whole lot going on. I don't remember how this fight goes, really. I know the structure of it, but that's about it. Is he gonna roar? It's too early. Oof.
close, I think. Also, when he does that, you're kind of supposed to use them as jump pads to like avoid his next attack. In that case, I think it was his tail sweep. It's a pretty neat design. Is he doing the thing? No, I guess not. Thanks, buddy. Oh shit! Rip. Right, get me off! Get me off! Something about the Magnet Dragon, I don't remember its name, Ru Roko Diora, Ru something, um, oh god, is that the ballistas that they have around the areas, like, in Frontier, I'm supposed to be talking about, uh, they are so sticky, and like, you will just get stuck on them. That was oof. That was just not good on my part. <laughs> Anyways. Vibing to Ibushi's theme, yeah, for real. can't pause. Alright. My phone is freaking out right now, so I'm assuming everything is okay and it's just my phone. I need a second monitor. Maybe I'll go to Best Buy or something. I'll go, I'll go to the back and I'll be like, hey, uh, do you guys have like a back door uh, that nobody really watches and like has no cameras around? And they'll be like, oh yeah, it's gonna be uh, aisle six or whatever. Oh, that's what happened. YouTube fucking crashed on my phone. Good fucking job, dumbass. <laughs> took me like two minutes to get my phone. There we go. It took me like two minutes to get my phone to actually like show me chat and stuff like that. So, all right, sorry. Again, I need a second monitor so I can monitor chat and stuff like that. Oh, come on, man. I wasn't... I don't think I, that should have hit me. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> uh, well. Ah. Not a huge fan of the Shoryogeki. It's like Sword and Shield's strongest move, but like I miss it so fucking often. Either I'm just not great with it, and I need to get better with it, or uh, it's just got a lot of troubles. Whichever. It's probably just I'm not great with it, honestly. Is this the time? Are you gonna do the thing now? No? No. Fuck! I knew I was gonna miss. This might be bad. I don't remember how this attack really works. Am I supposed to shoot the rocks? I interrupted him last time by shooting him. Gypseros for sunbreak? I mean, that'd be cool. I'm kind of more interested in seeing, like, new monsters than, like, old ones, honestly, but... Yeah, I mean, I'll be happy to see returning monsters as well. It'd be cool to see ones that weren't, like, in Generations or whatever. I don't know which ones those are. Cause I know Kangalala was, I know Kutku was. Let's get Tipnaka trees, that'd be sick. <laughs> now that I've actually played Frontier, let's get white Hypnaka trees. That that fight was fucked up. Fuck sorry. That fight was fucked up. 
In a good way. <laughs> uh oh. I'm just gonna. Yeah. Oh god. Yeah, the Narwa and or Ibushi theme is great. I guess this is both, right? Alright, this time I'm actually on the gun, so... He's almost dead. Uh, damage? There we go. Head? There we go. Heady to Hypno. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Man, this ground is made out of, like, rubber. Or, like... You know. Yeah, she's kind of a psycho bitch. TBH. But hey. Here we are. She got balls. Uh oh. Oh god. It's just a roar. Oh, he's gone. He's gone. <laughs> he's gone. Oh well. Ah, I guess I should have stood in it. I can never tell if that damages you or not. Pretty sure it doesn't. Like you're supposed to stand in it. All other things great. All the music in this game is good. It's <laughs> just broken record to say kind of like this song's good, this song's good. But it, it do be true though. Ah, come on. I'm getting out of here. There we go. Never mind. I thought that was a knockout. That was <laughs> close. That's a laser. Can I? Oh, I mean, no. That's exactly what I meant to do. Yeah, for sure. Alright, yeah. Isn't this- yeah. Maybe? No. Oh god. Give me up! Um... Yeah? No. No? Yeah. Yeah, no. No, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. I don't remember if they come back in. I think they do. Oh, fuck. Fuck, dude. I thought they went away. 
That was some shit. I'm not giving up yet. By the way, I haven't un I haven't upgraded any of my armor. Uh, it's not a smart thing to do, but it is the thing that I do. Propane! Hello. Good to see you. Great to have you. Fucking knock out! Oh god. So, I don't know if it's what bullet hell people do. I feel like they have more of like a, <laughs> a sort of trance, sort of like internalized forbidden knowledge type shit that goes on. But whenever I have like too much going on on the screen, and I'm not quite sure if I can avoid being hit, I just stare at my character and make sure that I'm not touching things that I shouldn't be. So if you have trouble avoiding like lasers and shit like that, like try just staring at yourself. See if that helps. Fuck. I was still fucking drinking the drink, I think. Still hella slow from doing that. But drinking while moving is just free healing, by the way, of course. Wow, propane's fucking sweaty. Incredible. <laughs> You know, that being said, I appreciate you being here, of course. I'll get the Valstrex gear eventually. I'm not really in any huge rush. Oh yeah, there's an Aurora. That would be nice for preventing my death. Can you knock her out? I could have sworn you totally could. Alright, sure. Things are happening. Shoot a ball. Yep. There it is. Jesus Christ, dude. Magnamala win. Yeah, we'll see. I think because it's like urgent, it's always Magnamala, right? It could be different, or it could be wrong, but pretty sure the urgent is always Magnamala. There he is. Get his ass. Sorry, get, get her ass? Get their ass? I'm not really sure how to... how that whole thing worked. Oh god! I like how the music doesn't change either, that's nice. Oh my god, recover. He's still not recovered! I'm so fucking upset. I did a light attack so he could recover faster and he just fucking didn't. It's fine, whatever. Oh, GG. We got proof of a hero going on. Not like this. That was fucking lucky, and nothing else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
Is it safe in the middle after the explosion? I really don't remember. I think so? Yeah, it is. Okay. So just pay attention to the big ball in the middle. Once it explodes, you can just run in there. Yo. Oh, there it is. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing that I missed because I got fucking destroyed by the, the Dragonator. I can trigger half of chat by saying that no other monster has ever used a Dragonator against us. Go ahead. Go ahead and cry. Triple card to proof of a hero. <laughs> yeah. That's, 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 uh, that's what happens. I really do be that way. Holy fuck, dude. Chill out. Nice telegraph question mark? Yeah, just shoot shoot more rings at us. I will cry. <laughs> Literally shaking and crying. It was pretty cool though. Um, I'm sure people really liked that. Nice. Nice. Thank you. Shit. Oh, I thought my positioning was off. The fucking... <sighs> you know, Proof of a Hero started playing like three minutes ago, and Narwa is still not even weak. Or, I'm assuming it'll show in the top right. Um. Um. Fuck, dude. Monster Hunter Rise is the easiest Monster Hunter game, by the way. Just in case anyone was, uh... was wondering, you know, it's just this game is just so easy. I'm falling asleep over here, you know? It's not like I ever almost die. <laughs> there we go, now she's almost dead. One bitch, you won't. Oh, she totally did. Notice also that if you wirefall during that move, and you wirefall in the wrong direction, you're probably fucking dead. But wirefall is free get up, by the way. I'm gonna speed you double. Bitch, you, you thought. You fucking thought. <laughs> oh god. Give me the air, give me the air. Fuck! Oh, see? What? Uh... Is that gonna- No, propane! Don't die, those are my cards to, <laughs> to use. Oh. You better get down here, I think this is it. <laughs> uh, it might be it, I'm not sure. Probably not. Maybe just a little bit more, I don't think I have enough damage. Oh, Psych. GG, thank you, Propane. Appreciate you. Come down here, get the tail. Gonna need some of your parts. Car, car, car. Nice, nice, baby. Are there any shinies? I, I can't see because, like, she's huge. That's not like a weight jug, like, she's literally just very large. She's like how many times the size of our characters? <laughs> uh, maybe ten times? I'm not really sure. 
GG. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, I think that's it. Thanks again, Propane, for helping. Thought you were the only one struggling with Hall Mother. Um. Gives you the hardest time. Oof. Oof. I feel that. Mission complete. Uh, no. All Mother's tough. This game is hard. It's still a Monster Hunter. Like, I don't... <laughs> But um, yeah, don't feel don't feel too bad about anything like that. You can get mad about this. I give you permission to mold. <laughs> you expect me to troll? No, I expect you to mold. Wow, don't clip that. Look at this 60 FPS cutscene. It kind of looks weird, actually. <laughs> I'm so used to 30. <gasps> Can you join? Yeah, go ahead. The um, lobby ID is up there. Where's my Game Shark download link? <laughs> Did we get the same? Nice. Nice. Hey, look at me. Welcome back. We're all so, we're all so happy to see you. What are you talking about, Game Shark? I don't have any Game Shark. Oh shit! Oh shit! Uh, ignore that. <laughs> that's the that's the mod that makes things like 60 FPS. Yeah, Mogi. Yeah, Mogus. Now, I, there's a lot of cheat mods on Nexus mods. Uh, I don't like the idea about or like that. You know, I don't. It makes me a little sad to see them. I think they're fine, and I think the people who want them should be able to have them, but I'm just caught in 4K. <laughs> yeah, here, look. This is the only mod I have, Rise Tweaks, and it's about the frame rate and the image quality. So. Dream cheated. <laughs> Dream rock. Oh, we're doing, we're doing the Pixar anime uh, group laugh. Doesn't feel forced at all. That settles it. Minoto needs to eat. So then let's Can you join? I just said you could, yeah. The lobby ID it tweaks, yeah. The lobby ID is in the pin. I mean I, I hope it's not cheating. It specifically I hope that it doesn't do anything other than what it said that it does, you know what I mean? Yo, freeze frames. Don't you Forget DMCA. And the sky Definitely not forced, yeah, for real. <gasps> the sky is filled with sunlight? Is that a reference to the to the G-Rank expansion? <gasps> Guys, oh shit, do you think? I don't think. Nice, I like that though, that's cool. I accidentally cheated. I didn't know the mod was installed, okay. <laughs> I did install another mod, but I uninstalled it before I started. Um, it removes the end kill cam, and it replaces it with a slow-mo, and I think that's really cool. Alright. Oh, what do you want? There's a sale going on? Where'd the music go? Where, where did the music go? Where did the music go? Hey. Report this to Capcom, get my Capcom license banned. No! I Please. Ready. I have a family to feed. I mean, not really, I just have myself to feed. But, like, I eat, like, five Taco Bell boxes a day. I mean, maybe I could cut down to four, maybe three and a half, but I mean, come on. <laughs> Just kidding. That's a lot of food. Holy shit. Uh, so anyways, I actually do need to fight. Why is there no music, dude? What happened? <laughs> is that supposed to happen? I feel like that's a bug. Because it was the last cutscene. Yeah, for real, for real. I skipped this last time, let's not... Okay, now the music's overlapping. 
This is horrible. Okay, I'm gonna skip this. I wanted to watch it because you can see the 60 FPS. Oh man. Music's back. <laughs> but at what cost? Won't make, let you join, it says sorry, error code 9. Oh man. <sighs> That's a huge shame, dude. I mean, I was really looking forward to playing with a professional. You know, like... I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna have a lot harder time now, unfortunately, so... Did all mother give me hearing damage? Yeah, for real. <laughs> She's just singing outside. Oh, whoops. I didn't mean to take all that. <laughs> wow, good job. <laughs> I'm impressed. Or, yeah, wow. Wow. Well done. Well done. Wow. wow. <laughs> The dog's not really sure if I'm... Sorry. Alex is not really sure if I'm talking to him or not. Doopy doo. Hey, don't, don't roar yet. Don't roar yet. Alright, now you can roar. Fuck, I missed. Oof. Oof. Ouch. Owie. My bones. Bone hurting dragon. Bone hurting dragon. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, goodbye. Uh, game's easy, by the way. Yo, was that was that mining that I heard? I'm out here dying. And propane's just just mining diamonds out here. This is not a strip mine. Uh... Hey. I got the Kaiser crown recently, um, and I did like two or three hunts by myself, but now that you guys are here, I'm just going to offload like my chores onto you. <laughs> I'm going to give you the opportunity to help do my work for me. <laughs> nice. In single player at least, breaking the... cutting the tail off is actually really fast, like, I'm surprised at how fast it comes off. Um, like, it's hard to hit it with a sword and shield, but when I do, like, it's, it comes off pretty quick. Which is nice. Also funny how you don't need to get the monsters, the, sorry, the Elder Dragon's health below a certain threshold to cut the tail off like you used to. Although they changed how tail cutting works, uh, for a couple monsters. Uh, the only one I can think of is Nagakuga. So. Maybe I should compress my voice more. Trying to get propane? True. I haven't upgraded my armor yet. Yeah. But see, I don't want to upgrade my armor until I get like a good set that I want to upgrade. <laughs> you know what I mean? No! Communication errors occurred! Fucking metal tiger DDoSed me. Tiger. Propane. Okay. That was close. Shit. Yeah. 
I thought that was way too early. BTW, uh, that's two of them. Notice how I'm just using wire bugs to get free mobility, free free get ups. Just uh, everything is so free in this game. It's just so easy, straight up. Bro, fucking chill out. I mean, I understand you're literally on fire, but... It's like Odegaren, but with crack cocaine. Actually, I remember now, I hated Toyostra in this game. <laughs> this fucker does not stop moving. The most annoying shit. He's not even done. Oh, maybe he's done. No, he was done. Chaosters theme is such a banger though. You see this shit, how he just doesn't stop moving? Straight up. Yeah, good job. Nerd. Oh, I, I looked away for a second. Oh, you just... okay. No. Alright. Let's try that one more time. Remember that time I said I didn't mean to take everything? Well, I didn't know propane was gonna leave me. Maybe I should've took more. Damn. Imagine that. This game emphasizes being toxic. I can't believe this shit. Encourages even. Ugh, he's so slow, dude. Mr. Oldman over here. Oh my god, you're literally gonna walk to me? Holy shit. The disrespect out here. It encourages coping. Coping Hagen. Oh god. Do it. I don't want to tail cut right now because it's going to interrupt the KO, but like, I'll take it. If I can. I fucking hate sword and shield cutting tails because I keep getting knocked around and knocked away. Is that another? No. Thought it was going to be a roar. Fuck! I knew I was going to get there by that. <laughs> <laughs> oh shit. Free meal is such a good skill, by the way. I've said it many times before, but straight up, free meal is so good. If you just have an empty slot, just throw three free meal in there and it will give you so many more items. It's like free or spare shot except for like food and drink. Fuck. I gotta stay at max health. I can't risk not being at max health. I think I should capture him. 
Make the fight go a little bit faster. What do you guys think? Should I capture Teostra? Vote on your phones now. <laughs> yeah, boy. <laughs> I'm gonna take this guy to. Uh... I'm gonna make him sus because I'm gonna take him to a heat vent. Teoster is a sus. I guess this is called a geyser. Uh, technically. Oops. Alright. This is where I watch Teoster die, Parappa. This is what you die. Watch. This is where you watch your toaster die. Oops, oops. I'll get the tail later. More important things right now. I should be hitting his wings. Nice. That was way too early. I got lucky though, I got nudged. That's not great. Get me out of here. Wirefall. Wire bugs are free movement, by the way. That's why I'm out of here already and not waiting. Let me grab this. Yeah, I should capture. Alright, bet. Is he still? Yeah, he is. He sure is. Uh, before I forget, and also before I triple card, more likely. Okay, I, I don't want to say it's more likely that I forget, or more likely that I die again. I honestly couldn't tell you which is more likely. Because they're both pretty up there. <gasps> Let's go. I don't know if I actually need a Teos for gem or not. But I'm not going to say no. What kind of fucking lunatic do you think I am? That was way too early. Oh my god. The game has been giving it to me. For free! You're free, dude! I, I can't... I can't do the accent. I don't know what his accent is. Do it. Do it, bitch. Oh! <laughs> oh, hello. Goodbye. Oh, oh, you're gonna come back? Question mark? No, you should not. Okay, I need to get out of here. Oh, okay. That's, uh, that's fine. Just pick that up. So at least I'll have some items when I fail this. Come on, give me another. Okay, that's not really what I was talking about. Hey! Every time I do that, it's on accident. Oh, okay. Shit, shit. Okay, okay. no, nah, we're good. Okay, that's... Uh, not great. Oh, oh, is he? What? What's happening? Oh no. See, I remember when people say that get like sharpening on your dog is just free sharpening, and then when you try to get on your dog, you're just locked in place for a second while you get on your dog. Yeah. At least I got a gem. Hey, X, sorry. Damn it, propane! You wasted a cart. <laughs> I mean, technically, feels bad. Oh wait, no, that wasn't- that wasn't propane. Was it? No, I- I can't even fucking remember. Propane carded when we did All Mother, but oh, whatever. I'm obviously joking about blaming others. That's no big deal. Dude, Middle Tiger, I don't think anyone gives a shit what rank you are. Sorry. I'm just gonna try to let you out- you know, rip it off like a band-aid, you know? All right, let's see if it doesn't fuck up again. That'd be cool. Also, apologies for 
inherent latency issues from joining somebody else's lobby because I noticed that when I played with twos and stuff like that. Uh, it's not great, and I apologize. Can you give Capcom a call and let them give me a, let them give me a Wyvern gem and Iceborne? Uh, I'll give it a shot. Yeah, for sure. Actually, there's straight up there's a channel in the Discord talk like says uh, uh, like viewer requests or whatever, and it's like I can just kind of set it up there. So. It's <laughs> just oh, he's still fighting. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll get started on this one. What do I need? I, I need the fucking scales, dude. I need two fire dragon scales. What the fuck? What do I need to do to do to get that? I thought it would be like it's a scale, you know? It's a, it's just a scale. How rare can a scale be? Yeah, it's like super common. Ask me for my game shark? Yeah, for real, for real. Alright. Game's very easy, by the way. Another YouTuber joined you? Okay. <laughs> How many streams are you in right now? <laughs> are you in, like... Are you in, like, a bunch just asking to join? Look, man. <laughs> this game has, like, a matchmaking system. Found it. It's really not that big of a deal to play with someone like me. I mean, you know, I appreciate the desire to, but... You know, just kind of temper your expectations. And also ask yourself why you want to do it in the first place. Because if it's just a show-off, then, like, I don't, I'm not interested. You couldn't show me anything worth worth being impressed by, unfortunately. I, mean, I don't I don't like to lie to people, so I'm just being straight up. Ooh, I wasn't sure the timing on that. Rip. Goodbye. Let me just ride wirefall out of this because it's just free recovery, by the way. Weapon's still out. Totally good. And also cool. You know what would be really cool, actually? Uh, if somebody made a mod that changed some things, like you couldn't sharpen on your dog, you, you can't move while drinking, just to give people, like, the option, that would be really cool. Because some people, like, think that that ruins the game for some fucking reason. Whatever. I think it'd just be cool as, like, a challenge mode, right? Like, no moving while drinking, uh, potions and shit, you know what I mean? No sharpening on the dog. Shit, no, no riding the dog in, in the first place. You know, stuff like that would be cool. Potentially. Just just to have the option, if anyone wants it. I saw somebody posted in the Discord about uh, Valor Mode, which is really cool. Somebody modded in Valor Mode. Or, yeah, I don't think it's perfect, but like it's pretty good, from what I can tell. They also did it in uh, World, Monster Hunter World, which is You're incredible. And it looks great there. Ah, fuck, dude. I'm, I need to leave. I'm out of here. I'm also covered in blast juice. Come on, Ragna, do something helpful. Help me out here. Throw me a fucking bone. Ragna Kadaki is so slow, dude. Seriously, look at this shit. Please hit him. That's a pretty good move though, that one. A one, a two, and a three. Don't do it again, do it again. Don't miss, don't miss, don't miss. Do it. Oh my god, what are you Oh my god, she's so slow. Look at her look at her punisher, look how slow this shit is. It's like straight up, unironically like a 10 second windup. Okay, unironically more like five seconds, but it's it's like an eternity. <laughs> I should probably focus the tail, question mark? I should probably focus the, the wings, question mark. Ah, well. Maybe I should focus on, like, <laughs> clearing the quest and not doing anything fancy. I think that's probably the best idea. Oh, please, not like this. 
Wirefall is just free recovery, by the way. Goodbye. The fuck is this? It's Monster Hunter Rise. Hello. Welcome. How you doing? Good to have you, question mark? I think people think complain about these are shits. <laughs> complain about this shit, they're just bad at the game. You get tilted when other people are doing better, so they excuse other people's success as using new mechanics to make the game easier. Facts. Straight up. Also, I see someone on Twitter, <laughs> and they're like, I've used all of the weapons, but I haven't used Longsword a lot. And I'm, I'm sitting here thinking, like, dude, I wish <laughs> I wasn't doing a Sword and Shield playthrough. <laughs> as much as Sword and Shield is great and very playable, the fact that, or the reason I wanted to do Sword and Shield was sort of to challenge myself and also to force myself to actually learn how to use it. And now I do somewhat know how to use it. And I fucking hate it. <laughs> okay, I don't, I don't hate it. I dislike it, I think is probably more accurate. Um, I just think that some things are not quite up there, especially cons compared to Longsword, obviously, but that's, that's a tough competition, straight up. Could I stop getting fucking chunked, dude? <sighs> Game's easy, by the way. Fuck. Doing anything fancy is part of the, fu part of the fun, true, true facts. Remember what people say the AI and Rise PC are more interesting than Switch? Uh, I guess? I don't remember. I remember someone- or there was a post about, like, some timings were different versus PC and- PC versus Switch, which is interesting. But I haven't really noticed much. Alright, Metal Tiger, I'm gonna give you one more, like, warning, alright? <laughs> just one. Just- just the one more warning, alright? Because I don't have, like, moderators for my chat. It's just me. And I can only be as patient as I can be. Okay. Yeah, no, yeah. Fucking die. Please no. Okay, no, that was that was fine. We're good. Propane! Yeah, propane probably killed them. Propane's a fucking gamer, dude. I pushed the wrong fucking button. <laughs> Game's easy, by the way. Game's easy, by the way. I mean, okay. Real talk. The only people complaining about like the newer games being easier are just elitists and scumbags. So we really shouldn't be listening to them in the first place. It's just they're so fucking loud, man. And like. <laughs> The reason I bring them up in the first place is just because I want people to know that that's not what the average fan of the game acts like, you know? <laughs> like, they're shitty. They're, they're shitheads. They're not, like, true fans, basically. If, if you want to, you know, phrase it that way. Ooh, get fucked, idiot. Come on. Come on. Oh my god, I hate this fucking weapon. <laughs> That shit happens way too often. Like, what was my angling supposed to be like? How was that not facing the fucking attack? Sorry, I'm just really salty because I hate Teostra in this game. Straight up. I've said it before when I first fought him, I think. Like, this monster is just complete ass. <laughs> That's the worst. Oh, hey. Switched off to Sweaty Longsword. I, I feel ya. I feel ya. Righteous. 
cosplaying as Valstrax, I feel ya. I mean, it is an Elder Dragon, so I guess it's- well, actually, I don't know what gear you're wearing. <laughs> Could just be layered, too. The dragon layer. The dragon's layer. You're using Valor mode, too? That's cringe, actually. I'm sorry, Propane. I gotta put you on the cringe list. I'm actually going to die. I'm fucking dead. Oh shit, thank you. Was that you? Was that one? Who was that? Was that your cat? It didn't look like you used an item. Oh, I don't have two, two wire books. I wanted to counter that, but I didn't have two. Uh, there's one over here. Of course he's gonna run for me because I'm running away. Okay, thank you. Give me some space, dude. The final frontier. Oh god. <laughs> frontier. Ooh! Get the tail! Propony! <gasps> Dongo booster, we're off, dude! Nice. Come on, come on. Oh boy. Oh god. Oh, I don't know what that was. I don't know what I thought that was, but I thought it was death. Alright. Ooh! Now that's that's some spicy meatball. Nice. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man. I swear I'm not cheating. <laughs> I, I'm seriously like. Not only is Capcom super against cheating, I'm straight up super against cheating as well. Like just, just personally, like I don't really super care if other people cheat as long as it doesn't affect me. Although I am a little disappointed, to be honest, but I just, I don't like cheating. It, it does make the success feel hollow. I learned that a long time ago when I was younger, and I would, I would get a, I would get a game and bring it home, and then I would Google cheats, <laughs> and I would wonder why the game would be boring. Like, no shit, dumbass. Maybe play it pro like it, how it's intended. And that's sort of my philosophy in general, is like, I like to play how the, the developers intend, which is why I'm sort of against modding as well sometimes. I just, I want to see what the game feels like on its own, and then I'll modify it once I've, like, gotten a good enough taste, you know what I mean? Also, I don't like the idea of modifying a game to fit my expectations or playstyle, because if my, if what I want from a game isn't there enough, I don't think any amount of modding is really gonna change that, you know? That's just how I feel. I could totally be wrong, though, honestly. Anyways, I'm rambling. This is another tangent. Hello. How are you? Welcome. They will literally fire me. I mean, I'm not hired, but... <laughs> hey, Nyx. The lucky mode's back. Lucky mode never, never left. It's not meatballs or Teo gems. True. Absolute evasion, more like absolute noob evasion. Sorry, I'm just. <laughs> Adept makes the game way too easy. Introducing G rank Baroth. Ooh, rip. Need to play on colorblind mode? Do I? Yeah, Valor makes the game too easy. Adept makes the game too easy. In what game is Teos for not complete ass? You know, that's. That's fair. <laughs> Gotta play the game upside down. Uh, word, word. They're called the, the vocal minority. Yeah. Hey, Xavier, welcome. Biostra. There was a lot of dialogue. I'm sorry. Hold on. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm reading. I, uh. Oh, the AI is a bit better on PC. Oh, shit. Dude, I'm, I'm not paying attention. I'm sorry. Um... I don't know. I don't know if the AI is better. I haven't really noticed anything. TBH. I think they should buff Sword and Shield. 
I think Sword and Shield is very strong, especially if you use bombs. But I just feel like you shouldn't have to use bombs to do that, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know. And I guess you don't have to. I don't know. It just feels a little lacking, especially compared to, to Longsword, which is maybe an unfair comparison for a lot of reasons. But... <sighs> Sword and Shield just feels harder to use. A lot of times because it's a shorter weapon, which is just strange. And I feel like that shouldn't be the case. Whether they need to make the weapon stronger or just or like deal more damage or something, I don't know. Obviously, also, I'm not a Sword and Shield main, so if they made it even a little stronger, that could make fucking speedrunners get like ridiculous. Oh god. <sighs> could, you know, could make the time difference extreme. But just talking from like a, a beginner or even like, I guess, intermediate user of this weapon, I don't know. It just feels a little. a little weak. Uh, I kind of felt the same way about Charge Blade, I guess. But I think a lot of people do as well, so that doesn't really say anything. I just want my counters back, man. <laughs> oh shit, hello. <clears throat> Streamer enslaves viewers to do work while he reads chat. True, true. Uh, I don't know who he's gonna go for, so I'm just gonna dive. Okay. Cancelled, yeah. Sword and Shield's pretty good already. I don't know, man. I'm not seeing it. I don't know about that one, Chief. Oh, nice. Especially because the weapon is so short. Like, a lot of times when I'm attacking a monster on the ground, like, I'll just get pushed away and some like that. Although this is a little different. But, like, a lot of my moves, the combos, like, the source of my damage, the multi-hits, like, just don't actually connect. And that sucks. Anyways. Yay! Let's see if I get enough scales. Hello, Sepik. Come on, one more scale, dude. Come on. Give me a break. Dude. <laughs> oh, let's go. Okay, everything else is gravy. Is that a, is that a phrase that people understand? Sword and shield size is pretty average. I don't know. Personally, as it is, I prefer dual blades over sword and shield. Um, I, I liked sword and shield in the old games, but f because it like hit harder, I guess, and also the monsters had more static movements, I suppose, you know what I mean? So. <laughs> Why is Lunastra red? Delete this. <laughs> Saying Sword and Shield is pretty average, not saying it's based on experience or, or anything like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. For real, for real, for real. I feel you. You're good. We see you. Anyway. Nice. Well, you, you'll all be happy to know that I didn't get any gems in the uh, my reward box, but. Nice. Alright, let's get the fucking Van Braces, dude. I don't even know why I got this, I don't remember. I think I need a new hel- no. <sighs> what? Do I still have it open? I don't. <sighs> Hold on. Rathian. That's what I'm. Oh right, I have it in my fucking wish list. I'm stupid. <laughs> now get Rathian. Hey guys, it's Gaijin Hunter, and today we're gonna be fighting Rathian. How's that? Does that work? Is that... <clears throat> How's that? <laughs> Don't lie. <laughs> or, unless unless you're gonna say that I sounded bad, then then lie to me. Please lie to me. <laughs> no gems and rewards. Balance has been restored. Word. True. Truth. You speak the true true. Uh, what, what did I... They really put Rathian in five star. Toxic, dude. Toxic, dude. Wow! Good job. Good job. Wow! I'm impressed. Amazing. Amazing. Ow! Ow! Ugh. 
too high pitch for Gaijin Hunter, is it? It sounds alright to me, but maybe I just haven't seen him in a while. Accent is 80% accurate. You just slow it down and pitch it down. Ah. I gotta get this. I gotta get this right. I gotta practice more so when I go to Gaijin Hunter Con, um, I can impress him. <laughs> Gaijin Hunter is cool. Um, I don't agree with him all the time, but it's kind of. It's not. It's not really like whether or not I agree with him or not. He just. He seems really chill, which is. Um, What's the word I'm looking for? It's uh, not relieving. It's like I'm not. I'm not smart. Give me a second. I'm trying to f remember what language I speak. It's just nice. <laughs> it's nice because a lot of times people in the Monster Hunter community are just super fucking like they just they don't chill out. They're just whatever. And Gaijin Hunter just seems really chill. He just seems more relaxed and like. Kind of whatever, right? Uh, kind of the same with Eric's, but Eric's is just kind of whatever. There's also other people. There's like Rurikan. I don't really know his content at all. And there's uh, Jokat, but Jokat just does. Same with Eric's. Jokat kind of just does a lot of stuff. Even though I think his main design is the Wiggler head, right? Which is Monster Hunter. But yeah, Jokat's cool. That's a lot of fucking damage, jeez. 300? We really do be out here though. Oh, there's a Rajang. Rajang. Oh, you've... Alex. Paper pain. Swacks. And a swacker. I hope they have more themes like this in, in some break. Because the song fucking kicks my ass. I don't I can't do that. I'm not smart enough to improv. We're gaming! Oh! Oh god! Oh, we're gaming! Can I get a knockout? Now it's personnel. Hey, Bishatan! Bishatan! I'm like, bitch, you thought. Coming in here with that bullshit. You should start to make content, yeah. Mm, monkey. What am I doing? God, I'm stupid. <laughs> Don't worry about it, alright? Relax. What? What? Yeah, lock on. Nice. I think. I don't know. Please recover. Whoop, whoop, whoop. Eat shit. I don't have. Well, I'll just do this, I guess. Alright, too late. Oh, it's fine. Whatever. What? Okay. Can I get a knockout? Did I knock her out already? Uh. Please? <laughs> Ba ba ba. Oh, get him out of here, kid. Oh, my God, gaming. Uh, let's go. That's what we call video gaming. 
when you push the buttons and the things happen on screen? Many people call this form of entertainment gaming. But is it really all it's cracked up to be? I don't know why I shifted into the news anchor mode, but it's not like I really have the voice for it. <laughs> for gore. True. Ooh, we got a spike. Rathian is just a fan of Cowboy Bebop, so when it says Rathian Spike, it's just like her da Daki Makara? Is that what it's called? You know what I'm trying to say. Do you know what I'm trying to say? Am I saying... Am I doing more trying and not enough saying? <laughs> hmm. Turn around, you won't. Oh! Idiot, why would you listen to your enemy? Oh! Well, that was close. <laughs> oh! She's, she's, she's beating us up and she can't even see. Maybe she's the real gamer. Nah, couldn't be. I just, uh, I'm just, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna push these buttons. Hey, Naughty Fog. How are you? Am I, my billing Rathian? She's fine. See, we captured her. We didn't kill her. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. What do you think happens to monsters that we capture? I mean, uh, maybe don't think about that part, but. I wonder if I got the things that I needed. He was hoping. Pray hands emoji. Nope. Right, I need a, I need a gem. Or a ruby. That's what I need. You're good? That's good. I'm glad. Good to hear. It is hot. It is very warm. Should've done this earlier. That's fine. We're fine. We're hanging out. They despawn once the quest ends, but okay. <laughs> True facts. They get loaded out of memory. I don't know what to tell you. That's, that's as far as it goes. Gamer waifu Rathian. Yeah. Sorry, Rathian. Apologies. Easy. It's gonna be all Rathian gems and rewards. <laughs> oh. I appreciate the luck. Yeah. I'm just gonna... We're just... We're doing this. It might actually be all Rathian rubies, now that I've found this. I'm ready for this. What are they calling? Felicia Crow Twigs, Fortune Owl Feathers. Why does one- why from one do we take a twig and the other one we take a feather? Uh... More at 11. I don't know. I can't. See, I can't improv. Do you think I'm Jerma or something? Like, Jerma balls? See, not even that's original or unplanned. That, that's just something that numbers says. <laughs> Childish Numbino. That doesn't even make any sense. It's just a reference. Okay. It's not even a reference. You know what? <laughs> oh, okay. Let's go. I don't know why I'm focusing the head. We can just... We can just do that, like, during the fight. Is 
such a huge, horrible habit of, like, locking onto the monster constantly. Uh, because I'm used to playing, like, Frontier, I guess? Not really. I don't know. It's just weird. I do it out of habit, and it fucks up my camera a lot. Okay. They really don't be doing that much damage, though. Oh, oh. Let's go! Bit, bit. Mm. Hey, Vir 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 hey, Virgil. How are you? Good afternoon, afternoon, meet, uh, evening. Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. I went to try the new Apex update, but forgot you uninstalled the, the game. Um, <laughs> I actually don't know what game you're talking about. Are you talking about Rise or talking about Apex Legends? <laughs> because my first thought was Apex Legends, and then I thought, maybe not, actually. Oh, I was out of wire bugs, I think. Yes. Ooh, I want, I want, I want, I want mods that like change the voices, the uh, ca voices characters. You know what? I'm just gonna, we're gonna send that one. Mm, Should have left it in the drafts. Should have left it in the oven a little bit more longer to cook more. But nice, nice. What if I just knocked her out of the air again? Ooh, shit. Alright. Look at all these shinies! Mr. Weapon, meet Mr. Monster. Apex Legends? Nice. Yeah, I, I think I uninstalled that too. I'm not very good at it, and it stresses me out. People will straight up be like, carving pro is such a noob skill, it makes the game so much easier. Imagine, like, you could just tank through hits while you're carving, completely ignoring the fact that, like, you take a lot of damage if you get hit multiple times while trying to carve. But that's just the mentality that they run with. Like, anything that, like, is different, um, makes the game easier, and therefore it's not as good. And therefore any success you have is not as good as mine. Etc. You know what, whatever. <laughs> I don't need to justify their mentality, or try to justify however they do. The new games are so much easier than the old games, so says the people who can fucking endlessly flash stun a monster, and like, just, just lock them. It's kind of the same mentality also, because it's like, it's not, it's obviously not free damage if you flash a monster constantly, but, you know. Come on, bitch. I don't mean that in like a gendered way, I just I'm just saying that because I'll put this to good use. Want a mod that changes the chime when you load the quest to the fine boom sound. <laughs> oh my god. Memester Hunter Rise. I'm down. See, that shit that I just did right there, like, how can you not do that and see that and be like, you know, that it's not at, just as, um, like, satisfying as, like, the old games. Like, did you see that shit that I just did? I spaced out where she would land after the, uh, after her charge. She's gonna move, I think. Yeah. So I didn't want to put the trap down yet. See? Stuff like that. That's that's what Monster Hunter is, is identifying and learning the patterns that monsters do and exploiting them. That's that's what Monster Hunter is. Period. There's nothing else. <laughs>
Are you? Dude, we just. You can't capture Carve. That's that's forbidden. You can't do that. People are watching. <laughs> Cut Kuin rises too easy. Yeah, for real. Somebody literally said that. And it's like, dude. <gasps> that's not a fucking gem, but I'll take it. Oh, is the game a little bit too loud? Is it? No, it shouldn't be. I like the game to be a little loud as well. Like, I don't want it to be too quiet. And I do have a noise gate turned on. So as long as the, the, vo the volume isn't like... You know, you just can't hear me or something, then I think it's fine. It doesn't need to be like... You know. But if it is actually, like, too loud, then just, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I guess I can- Oh, nope, nope, that's not the right one. I guess I can tweak it. It's just very difficult because I can't actually see. Why am I grinding Rathian? I just showed my wishlist. I need a ruby. Alright. Come at me. Ah! I hit her fucking neck. That's so stupid. Come on. Oh my god. There we go. Close. I was a little, a little worried there. Archeros is really here. Like he's gonna do something. Nice! I was hoping that'd come off soon. Sooner or later. Oh, 
Holy shit, our zeros. Oh! Ah well, here we are. Ever play any of the Quake games? Yeah, I beat Quake 1. I couldn't really ever get into Quake 2. I also beat Quake 4, I think? And Quake 3, I played a lot of it. I don't know if I beat it or not. I mean, obviously Quake 3 is different. Uh, it's like, you know, multiplayer. But I'd say it's still got a single player. I mean, you fight bots, so... Uh, they're all quite good. I think Quake 1 is... is... I think Quake 3 is probably my favorite out of all of them. And I kind of prefer Quake 1, I think, to Quake 4. I... I don't know. Quake 4 is in that weird place where it's like... It's like Doom 3, where it's like... It's new tech, but there's not really anything crazy fantastic going on. It does have that one part of the game, which is, uh... You know... So I guess there's that. Also, ooh boy, they, they really did some some edgy shit back then, huh? With that engine, like like with Prey. Anyways, yeah, Quake's a good game. Very excited to see what the new Quake's gonna be like. Hopefully it's like Quake 1, because they kind of like... They kind of dropped Quake 1 for the... For the sci-fi sort of aesthetic, I suppose. I think. But yeah, Quake's fun. Rathian kill count? Uh, I think this is like the third, maybe? Uh, and as far as like how many I've killed in the game, or hunted rather, uh, I can check. Nice. She keeps trying, wow. Yeah, I didn't think I carved the tail. I'll put this to good use. There he is, the Bloodthirst Incarnate, true. What sword and shield am I using? I'm using the, uh... It's the Tigrex one. Yeah, the KOs for sword and shield, I think, are probably better than hammer. At least in terms of, like, the first one. I mean, you can get a, a KO literally the first th time the monster roars at you. I don't know if the same can be said about hammer. I'm not really sure, honestly. And then uh, as far as like the second KOs go and stuff, it really kind of depends if the monster's head is like in a good place, because the hammer technically has more reach, right? So, I don't know. I'm just gonna... I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna push some buttons really quickly. <clears throat> Can Tails get yeeted out of existence or stuff in Rise? I don't think so. Quick Champions is fun. Yeah, I mean, it's a good game. Um, it has the problem of being multiplayer only, <laughs> so I can't really play it. Uh, you know, because I'm just not good at the game, and it feels bad to get my shit kicked in every time I open the game. So. Come on. <laughs> we can move on from this for now. Also, I'm almost HR 69. Let's go. Hype. Yeah, I'm not really sure. I like how this looks. It's quite cool. <laughs> Hoping for a ruby right now so Eddie doesn't massacre an entire population of Rathians. Yeah. Like I did with the popo. Look, look. 
It wasn't... Come on. Don't... <laughs> ay ay ay. Try to get a Zenogre plate, I guess. Let's try that. People like Zenogre, right? <laughs> I say that all the time, like to justify which ones to do. Want to try Freedom Unite at some point? Still got to download PPSSPP and do the Hunsterverse stuff. Yeah, I mean, you can just you can just play it solo if you want, but yeah, it's a good game. Even I think personally, I think it's a great game even by modern standards. It's a bit rough, sure, but I think there's definitely rougher games out there for sure. You know the original Hitman game? <laughs> um, it's cool that it started the series, but oh boy, that game is rough. It's just oof. It doesn't even play like terrible on for or, like that's the thing, because like if the if the levels were set up a little bit better, um, well I don't know maybe the levels are fine. I don't know. There's just something about it. Um, maybe it is how it plays. I'm not really sure. It'd be cool to see it, like, remastered or something like that. Let's do this. <laughs> Propane, no! Is that my end or yours? I could probably take care of Azanogar myself. Feels bad, sorry. I apologize. Come on. There it is. Oh my god. Do the fucking the round I think my controller's going or something it sucks. <sighs> Believe it or not, buying things one time is not enough. There needs to be replacements for things. Which sucks. And I've had this controller for like how many years now? Oh my god! <sighs> Can they just make the fucking angle, like, 180 degrees or something like that? Instead of whatever the fuck it is now, like 90 or some shit? For the Shoryu Geki, I hate that. It's the worst. What? I guess I didn't hold the trigger long enough or something? What the fuck, man? Is that it? I don't think it is. No, it's not. Next one's probably gonna be it. Okay. Is that it? Is that it? Is that it? Yeah. No, it's not. Cut it short though, that's annoying. Maybe this one's it. Is this gonna be it? I'm trying to find a pattern here. I guess I'll know if it's this one? No, it's not. Unless it is? I don't think it is. This has gotta be it. No. Unless... Because I'm pretty sure he only does it one time when he does finally charge up. You know what I mean? He just goes, oh, 
think one time. Can I please fucking recover? Holy shit. Did you see what happened? I could not roll. Again, easy game by the way. This is it, right? It's gotta be- yep, there it is. There it is. You just want to fight green Plesiath? I mean, he's not much different from regular Plesiath. He just hip checks faster. <laughs> and he's on the ground more, I think. This game, the DC, that was my last one. Legit need to sleep. Alright, thanks for hanging out, man. I hope you sleep well. Yeah, I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks for making time. <laughs> ah. Alright, please let me recover. Fuck's sake, dude. I remember people say this game is easy. <laughs> Aru. Nice. 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 <laughs> oh no. Nice, dude. I'll take it. Shit. Oh, I almost messed it up. I didn't angle it properly. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, you can you can 360 degree aim your Shoyu Geki, and you have to be aiming at the attack that hits you, or it just won't go off. <laughs> you really be hitting that Awu emote? It's true, it's true. Suddenly talking scared the crap out of you? Was I muted before? What? Or is this like... Not... I, I don't know. But hopefully I didn't spook you too much. Hello. <laughs> I am here, I think. That, of course, was a joke. Because it has, because it has been many moons since I had last thunk. If ever there was one. Yeah, alright. I really need to sharpen. Mike's good. <clears throat> oh, I was on the verge of falling asleep. Oh shit! I mean, if you gotta sleep, go to sleep. This will be here later on, with timestamps even. <clears throat> and you can call that a guarantee, which uh, coming from me doesn't really. I mean, uh, <laughs> it it means something else when I say I guarantee something. <laughs> you know, does that make sense? It means I'll try, but like, if I don't, then I won't feel bad about it. <laughs> Just nah, I'll, I'll get it done. <clears throat> Unless... Oh. oh man, I wonder what the... Whatever it's called, Lunagaran or whatever the fuck it's called. 
It's gonna be such well, I hope it's a cool fight. The werewolf one in Sunbreak. It'd be cool if it was an Elder Dragon too. Because uh Malzanos or whatever, right? He's supposed to be an Elder Dragon, right? The vampire. See, I think Alex just hit me to knock me out of that or something, and I could not recover in time. Goodbye. Please carve. Oh, I got another carve! Let's go! Please don't shock me. Oh god. Roll. Okay, we're fine. what I thought, bitch. Oh, okay. Get work in six hours? Yo, yeah, you should probably sleep. <laughs> I appreciate wanting to be here, though. I, I do. I hope your work goes well, though. Either way. I break his back? You can only break his back when he's charged up, right? Isn't that how it works? That was close. You thought, you really thought. He tried it. Woo. Oh, this is a tail. I thought it was I thought it was a fish, although I thought it looked weird. <laughs> the sight of a carving hunter not even flinching to a literal truck biting them is nearly comical. True, true, true. I'm looted from Espinus, yeah. That's because I have Carving Pro. And it's maybe not the best idea to have it on, honestly. I think it can get you killed if the monster attacks fast enough. Come on! Oh! No, I needed that! <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I think I actually have a Jasper. I don't I don't know if I need that. Just need the plate. Also, is anyone else as excited as, as, uh, as we are? Oops. Go. Look how many horns I have, dude. What? Gotcha. Take care of your <clears throat> let, me just, uh, let me just do something really quickly. Oh, yeah. Go to OBS and uh, unlock this and uh, just. just uh, Oops, what? Oh god, what happened? Oh. Okay. Uh, let's, let's do this, and uh... 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 There we go. You're welcome. You're gonna go to sleep? Alright, later, frog. Sorry, I don't have any, like, meme music to play for this- for this incredible... God, what's the hotkey? Uh, reset. There we go. Was that worth it? No. Did I do it? Of course. Alright, what, what are we at now? The ruby. What about weapons? What about weapons? Rocky. I can't make it yet, apparently. What about this one? Frost sack. We can do that. Monster Hunter, nice. Yeah, for sure. What is the Frost Sag? Is that gonna be something low rank? I think it is. Maybe. No, maybe. Uh, Frost Sack. Where would that be? Lagombi? Uh. Uh, Baroth? Baryoth? Sorry. 
Yeah, it's a low rank Baryoth, I think. Feels, feels. They put Baryoth in four star? Mega Minds, yeah, the penis music, hell yeah. <laughs> I like how that's just ubiquitous. Is that the word? Oh, here. 60 FPS. Hey, welcome back, Claude. Can you guess what hunter rank I am now? I'll give you two guesses. And you can't look at the screen when you guess, because for no reason in particular. <laughs> I think I was thinking of the the desert interest theme with the vocal, where she goes. Yeah! I can't go that high right now. Ah! There you go. She does that. Sixty-nine. Hey, you got it. <laughs> nice. Whoops. I think my inventory is like totally full. Although it doesn't really matter because uh. Got the field pouch. So nice. Alright, what's up? What's good, Baryoth? Hit me with it. I missed! I'm so bad! Oh my, okay. okay. Oh my god, Baryoth. Oh my god, Baryoth. Actually? I got an idea. Ow. Come on. That works. Ouch. There we go. Okay. Oh, fuck off. Why did he angle that way? Whatever. You saw he was aim aimed at the wall, right? That was some bullshit. Can I get a knockout, please? Literally thirsting for this shit. Alright, alright. Come on, dude. 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 Ah! Come on, dude. Give me a singular knockout. How close am I to a knockout? I gotta be close, right? There's no fucking way. Dude. <laughs> Give me a break. Alright, sick. This is the part where he lays down and bleeds to death. That's a reference. I'm not actually, like... That was, that's pretty cold. Like, that's, that's yikes. Anyways. It was a nice knockout, huh? What if what if we knocked him out again? Wouldn't that be funny? Wouldn't that be haha? -ha? Dude. Yeah, just keep doing that. <laughs> endemic knife is so endemic life is so good. Looking forward to hunting with you. Easy peasy. Uh I did I did a couple of hunts where I, I focused hard on like getting endemic life. So I remember that the the thunderbug is up there or th thunder beetle. And uh there's a blast beetle, I think, below the second camp. I'm not really sure. You got the drift, yeah, true. Might go now need to need to need to go to class in a couple minutes. Or you can watch in the background. Well, either way, I hope I hope class goes well and it's not too hard to focus and that you learn a lot or whatever. And also that you have a good day.
need to go too because your final's in a few hours. Bruh, good luck in your final. Damn. I mean, they don't call it that for no reason, right? I think. I don't know. What, I don't know why they call it that. Wow. I've never been to school. <clears throat> Imagine in a future of Monster Hunter, the games are getting two expansions this time. Bruh. Good job, buddy. That would definitely be surprising. <laughs> Rise two is easy. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get a Monster Hunter Freedom Me Night two. Um, I didn't get shit. Am I, am I supposed to capture him for a frost sack? Dude. Uh, nope. Nope, looks like carves are good. I just got really unlucky, I guess. said you know I bring bombs every time and I never use them I guess it's better to have them and not need them right but still no I don't really have a whole lot of inventory space so. Monster Hunter Rice, man? Psh, I eat rice for breakfast. No, I don't. Do people do that? I feel like someone somewhere probably does. Or at least has. Nothing wrong with it, but... Hmm. Alright, let me get let me get two knockouts. Let me try to not mess this up this time. Oh, please, not like this. Oh! What? Huh? Yo, holy shit, I broke his head. How much damage am I doing, dude? <laughs> Let's try to do this as fast as possible. Question mark. Alright, so we got this. How much crowd control can we get in one hunt? I messed that up. I mean, you were there. There it is. There's that. Throw the Thunder Beetle. Do another knockout. Cause why not? Just do another one for good measure. There it is. You think he's enraged now? I think I'll have my one oh my god, he's already almost dead. Remember, kids, when people say that negative affinity is bad, just, just send up this video. I mean, this is high rank gear, but still, that was kind of disgusting. That was kind of disgusting. Yeah, that was a speedrun, basically. Again, low rank, but I mean, damn. Oh, I got two cards. Let's go. I wish all my low rank stuff went that well. I approximate that at 20% per carve and 3 carves, you have at least- you have like 50% chance of getting at least one. Maybe. Is that how it works? I don't remember. Uh... Yeah, I guess it'd be like 48% or something, right? I think that's how it works. I don't remember. Yeah. You can just multiply them together, right? Ma right? No? No, I don't. Math is fucked up, dude. I hate math. <laughs> hey, I got, I got three. I'm sorry, I got two? Did I get more than two? How many do I need? Four? Ugh. 80% of the power 3, yeah, that's what I did. 
But then you multiply, you subtract one, right? Because you're not. All right, do you subtract one? Because that's calculating the chance of not getting one, right? Or no? I don't remember. I, I could have sworn you subtracted one at the end. That's how I got 48. Yeah, I did 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 times 0 0.8 minus 1. I don't know if that's right. I'm not I'm not <laughs> smart. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's go into another one of these. Oops. I forgot. Oh. It's all good. I'll say it every day. Math is <sighs> math is as important as it is annoying. That is to say, very. If you want to go into a STEM field, go into chemistry. That shit's that shit is sick. <laughs> Maybe it's because I don't understand chemistry at all. I've been watching uh, some YouTube video videos. Uh, there's a channel called Nile Red. You probably never heard of them. If you if you know about them, they're very popular. Anyways, um, yeah, these videos is, are great, and they're so crazy. Like, it really opens your eyes about like the world around us and chemicals and the interactions between them. It's fucking crazy, dude. There's a couple of really interesting sciencey channels like Vsauce and Colin Furs, kind of. I guess that's more engineering. All right, this is the one. Look at that! He didn't get he didn't get uh, captured this time, so he's enraged. Oh, I thought he was gonna do his big pounce. There it is. Let's go. Cut his tail off. There it is. Now we do one of these. And we hit him with one of those. Don't do this to me. I was a little afraid I would be too far forward. Liquid nitrogen cooked popcorn. Did he do that? It seems like something he would do. The last one that I saw was him making grape soda out of uh, gloves. And I saw making cotton candy out of cotton balls before that. It's fucking awesome, dude. And, uh... He tested out like how do cyanide how does cyanide smell? And that was really interesting. Obviously a little spooky, but you know. Nice. Can't sleep in back. Alright, welcome. Uh, I hope you can get to sleep or that you have energy drinks or something. Uh, hopefully work isn't too terrible. You're a chem major? Really? Nice. Chemistry is cool and awesome but hard as shit. Yeah, I can imagine. When I see people use it, like Nile Red specifically, or Nile Blue, whichever, uh, it's very interesting and very cool, but oh boy, if I tried to understand any of that, I'm sure I wouldn't be able to. There's another one that I was watching. I don't remember which one. Oh, when he made diamond water. <laughs> diamond uh, carbonated water. That was really cool. And then Wendover Productions is also cool. I think that's more about logistics and stuff like that. Things like trains and uh, trains and planes. And the profitability of them and how they work. Like economics and stuff. The one he made recently was... Or like today, I think, was... Uh, Oh, come on. Uh, it was about, like, drone shipping, which is funny because I totally forgot about that. Um, remember when drones, Amazon drones, were supposed to, like, deliver stuff to our houses? And I think in some places they do, but, yeah. I totally forgot about that. <laughs> it's 
получится. Look at how cute this guy is. Oh my god. I mean, I don't know the gender of this thing, but I don't really need to. It's very adorable and cute and... <laughs> it's so cute. Just this, the small movements of its mouth opening and closing. I don't know, it's something really cute about that. Been sleep deprived for half your life? Oof, yikes, dude. Recently, I've been having sleep problems. You know what my solution was? I got some monster energy drinks, <laughs> just in case. It's not the best solution, I don't recommend, but they taste good, I like them. Speaking of which, I saw, I haven't seen it, but I saw that there was a video of Nile Red. <laughs> it's a good channel, go check it out. Uh, oops, I didn't eat. Uh, taking the caffeine out of Red Bull, quote unquote, so I can drink it at night. <laughs> it's obviously a bit of a joke, I think, but that's very interesting. It's also funny to see him use things like drain cleaner and bleach uh, on things that he'll eventually be, like, drinking. And obviously his recommendation is don't drink or eat anything that you've made in the lab. That was an incredible slide that I just did. I was so sure that that was going to get cut short, but anyway. But yeah, it's just so funny. He's like, and then I added some drain cleaner, and now we're going to use bleach. And I'm like, huh? Huh? <laughs> But it's chemistry, right? Like, you, you're, you're able to clean it and, like, remove the harmful chemicals, and it's really crazy shit. And also very dangerous, obviously, in that, in that, uh, context. But yeah, it's fucking cool, man. No, I missed! I'm bad! I didn't get the second wire block in time. No. Nice. Nice. I think felines get offended when hunters suddenly pet them. Uh, <laughs> I don't think so. Oh, well, I mean, if it's someone that if it's a feline that you don't know, probably they'll be like, "What the hell are you touching me for?" But you know, if you know them, I'm sure that they're probably like, you know. Yeah. Uh, also, it just depends on the feline. I'm sure that some felines, like Neko, for example. Uh, Nekot was raised, I believe, to not make cat noises, which is really upsetting to hear about. Because that's like half of being a, a feline, is making cat puns, saying nya, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> so like, somebody's out here telling Nekot that that's not proper, and I need their name so I can come and discipline them and, <laughs> you know? <laughs> Anyways, uh... Oh yeah, there's a YouTuber who modified his DNA to stop being allergic to cats. I don't know if it was the cats, but there is somebody who modified their DNA to stop them being allergic to something. And that is very cool, and I wish was, like, like more developed and stuff or something, you know what I mean? Like, because I'm allergic to animals, and I fucking hate that. I think the, the thing that he was allergic to was, um, was milk, but I could be misremembering. Could be something else. Or I think it was milk or cheese, and like think at the I think at the end he ate a cheeseburger. Good job, buddy. Back to the village. You could, but the sugar content would still be high. Yeah, for, for the Red Bull? Yeah, probably. There we go. Also, for when he made the grape soda, he added like 50 grams of sugar, so. Which is, to what what he said was an absurd amount, and honestly, yeah. Uh, but that's kind of like a different discussion about, um. Oh, we got it! Let's go! Uh, about how healthy foods are or aren't, because, oof. 
gosh. Uh, the question isn't whether or not something is healthy or not. Because, <laughs> uh, I think that's fairly obvious. Because, you know, soda's pretty fucking... Pretty not good for you. I mean, oof. Oof, yikes. Yikers, dude. Alright, let's get this. Let's get this bread. Let's go to... Uh... The Plains? <clears throat> Anything for human consumption I'd pass on to a food scientist? Yeah. See, the stuff he's doing is definitely not for, you know, like, he's he's not, he's, he's not doing this and saying, like, hey, you can go out and do this, obviously, first of all. <laughs> but also, um, you know, he's not doing this so that he can keep doing it. He's just doing it because he's experimenting to see if it's possible and stuff like that. Like, when he, when he made grape soda out of, uh, Quote unquote grape soda out of a, a plastic glove or some shit like that, right? Um, what he did was he he got the chemicals from it and made it into the one of the ingredients that they used for um, for grape flavored things, like as a as a fake grape flavor. Uh, and that, that's just very interesting to to think about, right? Like that the chemical world like works that way, so that things are very or that are kind of similar that in ways that you don't really think about, or know, at all, <laughs> so. And he, he does things mostly just for fun, because, like, like when he made cotton candy out of cotton balls, like, it's probably not the easiest thing, or easiest way to make cotton candy, obviously, I mean, obviously. Uh, but he wanted to do it because it'd be funny to be like, yeah, this is cotton candy that I made from cotton balls, you know what I mean? Like, um, but yeah, it, it got me thinking about, like, well, how, how does food and stuff like this get made in the first place, right? But I'm sure that there's plenty of uh, experimentation and science and, like, you know, food drug administration, stuff like that. Like, making sure that things are healthy enough, right? Like, that they follow regulations and all this and that, so. Uh, and not somebody like fucking... I don't actually know his name, but not like somebody like Nile Red just fucking <laughs> making this crazy shit out of whatever the hell and being like, yeah, try it, it's good. <laughs> And at the end of, of the, all the stuff that he does, he usually says, like, this is not good. It's, it wasn't really worth it, obviously, but uh, that's not why he's doing it, to make it good, so. I like falling asleep to voices in streams, so I'll probably be out cold. Alright. Oh, well, I'm glad that I can, you know, assist. <laughs> I was allergic to cats. I couldn't be in the same room as one. Oof. Now we have four and you're fine? Really? That could be, like, maybe you grew out of it or something. I've heard that, like, some people do that. Um, I think I'm less allergic to things that I than I used to be. Um, which is great. But I still probably don't feel too comfortable with, like, you know, having a pet or something like that. Uh, which sucks. Because I've had pets in the past for various reasons. And, uh, yeah. I like animals, of course. So it was a little sad. To, you know, to think about, like, not being able to have one and stuff like that. Have a pet, rather. Ugh. Golden Sludge? That's Amludron, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it sure is. Oh, like vanilla and beaver dung? Yeah. Is, are they similar? Like, chemically similar? That's funny. Something interesting that he, he did was, when he was doing the, the cyanide test, he, he was testing the theory that cyanide smells like almonds, and his conclusion was that, like... I think he said basically that almonds kind of smell like cyanide, and not necessarily the other way around, I guess? Um... But, I mean, that's just kind of, like, how he feels about it, obviously. But, like, it was interesting that what he did. <clears throat> he had, like, a cyanide detector. Uh, which is funny to think about that there, that those are things. Which makes sense that there is, but still. And he put some cyanide in a... 
container and waited for the cyanide detector to read like 15 parts per million or something like that. And when he did the same thing with bitter almonds, which are different from sweet almonds, um, the detector went up way faster than the cyanide that he had before. But it was a very small amount of cyanide and still, it was really impre uh, surprising to see it go up as fast as it did. So, <clears throat> I've actually had bitter almonds before. Um, there's a whole alternative medicine thing with it, but um, they're not <laughs> really good tasting, especially when you compare it to regular almonds. Like, just get sweet almonds. Like, they taste good. But yeah, it's interesting that there are different differences. I didn't really, really know that. I think there also might be another word for for bitter almonds. I could have sworn they were called something else. I don't know. Look at that. Well, hmm, never mind. I was going to say the uh, Sword and Shield has a sharpness modifier, and I'm sure it does, but I think also I have white sharpness, so that's helping. What endemic life is around me? Lantern bug would be good. Where is that? Over here. I like lantern bugs a lot, actually. A lot of nuts have a small amount of cyanide. Yeah, yeah. Not enough to kill. Well, he said that, like, bitter bug Or bitter bugs, wow. Wow. Bitter almonds have... Like, if you eat a handful of them or so, then you'll start having some problems. Um, and <laughs> this paper that he was reading showed that, like... I think he called it hydrogen cyanide. Again, I'm not a chemist, so I don't actually know anything. <laughs> but he, it said that, like... It said that, like, at 300 parts per million, it can cause instant death, quote-unquote. <laughs> so, uh, you know, I mean... Uh, from one almond, he got to at least, like, 20-ish, or 25, I think. I don't remember. Maybe just 20. So, you know, it's not... I don't think it's a stretch, necessarily. Um, and also, it, I guess it's understandable, too, that, like... Uh, bitter almonds have like some limited use cases in uh, in f food because of that, as well as just you know, because don't apple seeds also have cyanide in them or something like that, right? I remember hearing that like a long time ago. How many times have I said cyanide in the last like five minutes? Ah! I'm out here trying to get some golden sludge, and it's literally on the ground there. I can't just get a jar and scoop it up and leave. Oh, oof. Don't eat a bag full? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> true, true. But yeah, he, he took a bite of like one or two and he's like, this shouldn't this shouldn't affect me really, so it's, you know, it's fine. The chemical stuff for vanilla flavored stuff is taken for beavers? Maybe. Isn't something- well, glue is made from, like, horse hoof or something like that, right? Or something like- well, that's one of the things. Or maybe just bones in general? I'm not really sure. Or, not bone, you know what I mean. I don't actually know what a horse hoof is. It's like a- it's like a- it's like a toenail, right? <laughs> it's like a very thick toenail. It's gross. It is quite interesting, though, the stuff that we make out of the things that we use. Where if we knew the source of some things, then it'd be a little kind of, you know. Even even stuff like aspirin, you know. Not to say that it's like gross or anything. I don't think it is, but like, um, it's just interesting that that we get that from like nature. Aspirin isn't like, isn't isn't aspirin like the active ingredient? Isn't that found in nature or something? I don't remember. I don't know. I'm trying to. I'm not smart, so I'm kind of just <laughs> rambling around ideas that I vaguely know of. So. But yeah, it's interesting. It's really cool. It makes the world feel more of like a connected sort of thing, I guess, if that makes sense. Just knowing that there are these fundamental laws like chemistry and physics. It's quite cool. I like it. It's like there's rules to this shit. Like, all this chaos isn't necessarily for nothing. Like, it actually does make sense. That's why I think science is so great. We're okay. We're fine. I'm fine. We're just gonna get up and run away. 
Okay, no, I, actually we are fine. Okay. Damn. Oh no, he's got a ball. What the hell? Oh no. I want to see fan art of like Amudron like in a hot tub just chilling out. <laughs> like how he does. Oh! Ouch. The other times I didn't get hit by that was kind of kind of lucky honestly. Ah, come on! <laughs> I got hit by like the edge of the. Oh man, feels bad. Don't wave that sh. Oh. Alex, Ashley, Ashley's not here. Alex, Alex. He actually did it. The mad lad. Madius, Ladius, Thaddeus. All right, goodbye, I guess. Sometimes these monsters are just rude. <clears throat> yeah, that's why you don't give a whole apple to dogs, because their system would react more quickly to it. Oof. New to the stream, have I experimented with all or most weapon types and rise? Yeah. Aspirin is benzoic acid, plus a few more steps. Uh, here, let me show you. Oh, I can't during a quest. God damn it. Um, I'll, I'll check my guild card. Uh, and I can show you, like, the weapons that I like to use and stuff like that. My favorite weapon by far is Longsword, of course, so that kind of... <laughs> this this playthrough has been Sword and Shield only, and I don't know really how I feel about it. It's not my favorite, that's for sure. I wouldn't maybe necessarily say it's my least favorite, but honestly, it might. Because everything else I kind of either like to use or it feels cool to use, you know what I mean? And the Sword and Shield's kind of like whatever. Like, I know what to do now. Because for the longest time, I couldn't really figure out how to use Sword and Shield. And so that's why I wanted to do a playthrough about me. Just just straight up using it exclusively. And uh, we're nearing the end of that, actually. Once I get to Valstrax, I'll start using other weapons. I didn't mean to dive. Whoops. Whoops or poopsers. Thanks, buddy. Is he doing the... Uh... No, he's not. Um... Dumbass? Dummy? Stupid baby? Little piss baby? Oh, okay. Maybe I'm the piss baby. Maybe the piss baby were the friends we made along- Oh no! I'm dead. Am I dead? I panicked. I- <laughs> Sorry. Uh, mm, yeah. Did it give me uh It did. There you go. So rude of me, they just eat in front of these people. Oh, in front of these. Alright, well. What timing? Um, I think. Therefore, I am. Hmm. <laughs> I think it'd be cool to make an armor set and like a build specifically for each weapon and then like use each weapon class uh, one day. <clears throat> I'll probably do that. Like once I finish Valstrax. Also keep in mind that this is the PC version of the game and I, I started from scratch so I don't have all the stuff that I had from World, world from, the, from the Switch version, uh, unfortunately. Um, when I was there, I was like, I was like HR 250, I think, maybe? I don't really remember. Uh, it's still on YouTube if you want to see it. It'll just be lower frame rate. Oh! Hey, good thing I put the bombs away, because I said I didn't need them. Ah, well.
Ooh, nice. <clears throat> yeah, you can die from anything I've consumed too much, that's true. Honestly, like, straight up. Uh, lethal dosages, I think, exist in just about everything, even water, so. Obviously, the lethal dose for water is called drowning, so. And I'm pretty sure if you drink enough water, it can kill you, right? Which is funny to think about. It's not funny to think about, it's horrible, but <laughs> it's interesting, I suppose, is the better word. Jeez. A lot of times those use those words are used interchangeably, maybe, but, you know, the connotation's uh, a little different. If you want to donate a small amount, is Super Chat good, or is, or is there another way? Uh, Super Chats are fine, yeah. Thank you, I appreciate you. Um, unfortunately, I don't have, like, any overlay stuff set up, but I do, I think, have the chat, like, replay turned on, so it should show in, in the VOD, in the archive. Uh, you know, like, on this side, basically. Um, but yeah, there's a membership program on my channel here. Uh, I have a couple of ways to donate, and honestly, it's more for the potential convenience of the viewer than it is for, like, to help me, because having so many different things is actually kind of bad. <laughs> um, most of the things only pay out when it gets to a certain threshold. Like, YouTube, it only gives me it, like, once it gets above $100. I think Patreon works the same way, although my Patreon is definitely, like, not really something I'm using right now. Um, um, yeah, so... But yeah, YouTube um, is ba is probably, I guess, probably the best way, honestly. Because, like, I'm consistently getting stuff through ad revenue and stuff, so... Anyway, yep, yep. <clears throat> what? Okay. Okay. random matchup walkthrough. I mean, yeah. It, it could be cool to do, well, it could be cool to do a lot of things that I don't really understand, like, the logistics about, I suppose, if that's the right word. Um, nice. Let's go. Uh, like, having people vote on what, what weapon to use against each monster, for example, or something like that. Or, rather, what monster to fight with each weapon, probably. Yeah, we're just gonna do this. Aww. Well done. Oh, oh. When are we gonna get Najarala? That's the real question. Wonder if someone only used sword and shield as a main weapon up to Monster Hunter Rise and stories too. Um uh, I could see it. I feel like that's really limiting yourself. I mean, if you play this game long enough and you only use one weapon type, I feel like you're doing a huge dis- Okay, hello. I got what I needed, and also- And then some. Anyways. I feel like you're doing a disservice to yourself if you don't at least try different weapons, you know what I mean? And speaking of which, let me, uh... How are you doing? How are you doing? What are you- I can't do his voice. What do you need? <laughs> oh man, that'll be fun. Holy shit. Oh god. <laughs> this weapon looks sick. But ooh boy, the, re the crafting requirements, let me tell you. They sure are. The village is in your hands. All right. Great sword. I really liked Greatsword, and I mained Greatsword in Monster Hunter World. Um, I just love the tackle. I think the tackle is great. It's such a cool move, and like it feels great to use to like avoid being damaged. Well, not, not avoid being damaged, but you know what I mean. I paid for 14 weapons, I'm gonna use the 14 weapons, yeah, for real. 
Um, I don't- I'm- I've definitely not mastered the greatsword, though. Like, the way I use some people using it is... crazy. Um, but I can still use it, and it's a good time, and I like the greatsword. Also, when I first started playing the game, I thought the greatsword was, like, the slowest weapon in the game. Because of, like, this. <laughs> and not knowing that, one, you're supposed to roll out of attacks like that, and two, you're supposed to put your weapon away. <laughs> uh, it, it didn't click immediately. This is where the sauce is at, let me tell you. The Gureta, sorry, the longsword, I started saying greatsword. Longsword is the good shit. This is my favorite weapon by far. Both in this game and probably just most long, uh, Monster Hunter games, except like four, I guess. Uh, it just feels so fluid and great, and also my initial thought of getting into this weapon is uh, Sword and Shield is too weak and Greatsword is way too slow, and this weapon is the one that got me into the game and actually had me stick around, so there's that. I think the Rise version of Longsword is incredible. Hey Virgil, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Thanks for the stream and videos, always fun to watch. Thanks, I appreciate it. Uh, hopefully I can continue to, uh, yeah, give you something to do, something to watch. But yeah, uh, Longsword, definitely one of my favorites, if not my absolute favorite. And honestly, it probably is my favorite, period. It's a very good weapon, especially in this game. Oh boy, oh gosh. Oh lord. Let's go, Sword and Shield, uh, I've been using this for this playthrough. Let's see. I got back to the stream just to announce you got the Wyvern Gem. Nice! Thanks for the game shark code, Hetty. Thank you. You're welcome. That's what I'd say if the combat wasn't so big brain starting from Gen 3. Honestly, yeah, they added a lot of uh, crazy mechanics, and it can be kind of hard to get into the newer ones. You see some people hating on weapons like Ruri and bow guns? Yeah. Sometimes it really do be that way. But yeah, um, Sword and Shield, it's a good weapon, now that I finally kind of understand it. It's just very complicated, like, there is so much going on for this weapon type, it's ridiculous. I used to say that, like, maybe Charge Blade is the hardest weapon to get into, but I honestly do feel like Sword and Shield is a bit too complex now. I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but it took me a long time to figure this weapon out, which is why I made this playthrough Sword and Shield only. Very good weapon. I mean, you can knock enemies out pretty easily with it, which is funny. Uh, in this game, I really like the, the different moves. Very cool. That's about it. I don't like having- I don't- I don't like this. This is like something that you need to do to like be really good at the weapon. I can't just back step like that. Like, it's very hard for me. A lot of times I'll just mess it up. Uh, and I don't usually have the foresight to do it after a roll. So. Oh golly gosh. Alright, let's uh let's see what what else we got. Dual blades! Dual blades are great. Uh never really used them much, honestly. Although in Freedom Me Night I did have a pretty good time fighting Tigrex with them. Not my f my main weapon by any means. Not my favorite weapon necessarily. Well, it's not. A long sword is. Anyways, um this weapon just feels great to use. Uh I think I haven't used this one enough to really know in Rise. But it is very cool. And I actually use it quite a bit in Generations. <clears throat> and I haven't used, uh, I haven't played much of Generations Ultimate yet. But I'd like to get around to that as well, eventually. Uh, very good weapon. A lot of fun to use. It, I don't feel like I don't know what I'm doing, like I did with Sword and Shield. I really like uh, this one. That one is really cool, because if you get hit like during that, you'll do an attack, and that feels really good. It's like the Adept uh, Dual Blades, I believe. So, And Adept Dual Blades is great. I think I used Aerial Dual Blades in Generations. I made uh, a crit <laughs> a crit build in, in Generations for Dual Blades, so I would activate that one thing that makes all of your attacks hit twice, which is such a cool move. I love that. Or Hunter Art. And then I was I would have like a very high crit chance, so I would just be jumping up and down the monsters, dealing tons of damage and blinding anyone who sees me. <clears throat> Sword and Shield and Rise makes the bread and butter combo of X and A and old Monster Hunter not as effective, yeah. That's part of why I couldn't wrap my hand around it, maybe. 
Mostly shield bash. Not the f most fun, but it's meta. Yeah, that's that's how I feel too. Honestly. Dual blades makes you Naruto run. Naruto from the hit anime Dragon Ball. Yeah. Kirin dual blades on long rate Tigrex. Yeah. Uh, the lance is fun. I think it's a great weapon. I like it more maybe in the older games. But just being able to aim specifically where you want to is very cool. The the nature of three, uh, you know, the three hops, the, the three stabs, if I have stamina, is pretty fun to, to play around that uh, rhythm. Being able to just target parts is very cool, I think. Uh, I don't really know much about how this weapon works in Rise. I can use it, but it's not my first choice. Uh, I really like the counter guard, although I just like counters in general, so... Kind of a sucker for that. I've heard that it's not quite as strong in this game, which is a shame, but... Pretty cool. Gunlance, uh, I've used it, I can use it. Kind of. Uh, again, it, all of these, whenever I say I can use it, it really just depends on what I'm fighting. <laughs> Um, I like I like Gunlance. I've always been a fan of Gunlance, even in Freedom Me Night, and I've, I wanted to learn it because it just looks cool. I mean, give me a break, dude. Come on. Look at this. Um, what is it? This one? Overhead Smash. Burst Fire. Oop. Right, and then you can... What is the... how do you... oh, quick reload. That's pretty cool. So you can kind of like, one, two, three... Oops! See, I don't know how... <laughs> I don't know how this one works. Uh, I do know that if you do a quick reload... Fuck! Give me a sec. The Worm State Cannon, which I don't think is very good in this game, I'm not really sure. But anyways, if you do a quick reload... It doesn't actually give you your Warren State Cannon back, so... Yeah, if you do that, you you shoot... Or no, I guess you don't, but you just can't do the ending, like, shoot thing. Yeah, Gunlance is fun, very cool, but, like, I, I'm not very good at it. Uh, the Switch Silkbind moves are okay. I mean, I, I kind of covered all the weapons when I did the demo playthrough. Uh, but that was a while ago. Hammer actually feels really good in this game. I really like being able to change <clears throat> to the this mode, and then I really like the second charge here because it sends you forward so fat so far, and like uh, you swing upwards, which makes it very easy to hit heads. So you can kind of just do that until you knock the monster out. And then from here you can just do the the big bang. Very cool, very fun. And of course the triple pound is just classic, and it, it's great. <laughs> I don't remember the silk find moves. I can do that. Cool. And then I guess the other one needs two. Yeah. Impact Crater is cool. I like this move. If you look really closely, you can see a gun on that lance. Yeah, for real. Seeing Sergius use the lance is godly. Uh, I'm not sure who that is, but no. Nah. Hunting Horn is, in this game, my favorite iteration of it. I don't really like Hunting Horn in any, other, in any other game, but I've heard that people really like the one in, in World as well. But yeah, I think this one's just great. I think it flows so well. I don't really know necessarily. I would, I would need to play for a bit to like remember what each one is, like that one right there. What is it like this and then no crush crush yeah multi crush then you can kick up and crush again I think or no crush multi crush forward smash kick up multi crush right you can kick up into a multi crush like that so if you have like a I believe if you have an elemental or status, this is a good way to apply it. It's pretty, uh, pretty good infinite. It's very fast, lots of hits, and of course there's this. Very cool, and of course there's what is it? This one? Yeah, this one's very cool. It just looks cool. God. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, switch Axe feels great. I've always kind of liked this weapon, but I never really used it. Uh, maybe I'll use it more in Portable 3rd sometime, I'm not really sure. Um, I never really cared for it too much, actually, or rather in actually using it. Until I used it in World once, and it felt great, and like, I was surprised. Uh, it works a little bit differently in this game, I think, but you kind of build up the meter in the top left in sword mode, and then you have like, charged up stuff or whatever. I think if you do the the wild swing at least twice, I think. That's not the right move, I think. There's a uh, one, two, three, maybe, and then heavy slam, and then you get it upgraded right there. And I think when you do that, it charges the sword gauge faster. And then once it's charged, you can do the fancy moves, and also it does like bursts, kind of like charge charge blade. And you also do the zero sum discharge, which is very cool. Very cool. Rapidly press Y. This weapon's just awesome. Like, <laughs> but I just don't really use it too much. I don't know. It also has a cool. Um, which which move is it? This one, Invincible Gambit. You can tank through hits with that. It's very cool. So, you know me. I like my super armor. I like my my counters. I like my blocks. My my perfect guards. Speaking of which, <clears throat> Charge Blade. This is the weapon I couldn't wrap my head around it for the longest time. Uh, I wanted to try it in 4 Ultimate, but again, I just couldn't get the hang of it. Um, but in Generations, I finally buckled down and looked up a guide and stuff, and yeah, this weapon's great. I don't really care for it too much in this version of the game, I think, in Rise. But, yeah, there's the, the guard points there. And once I learned about the guard points, like, it was all over. Oops. Uh, isn't there a guard point at the end of this one, this combo? Yeah, there is. So. It's just a great weapon. I don't really care for the Silkbind moves, it just feels weird in this game. I used it for the most of- or actually I think- I, I switched between Charge Blade and Great Sword in World, in Base World, and then in Iceborne I used Long Sword again. And ooh boy, let me tell you, <laughs> Iceborne Long Sword, well just Long Sword I guess in World is just really really good. I don't know, it was, it was Iceborne, that's when they added the AI sheath and stuff like that. Sorry, special sheath, etc. Insect Glaive is so cool. It's the coolest weapon that I don't use. Especially when, like... Uh, what is it? Like... I don't actually know what the button- or which one it is. Uh, is it this? Can I do it in there, in the midair? Yeah, this one. No, it's not that one. What? Maybe you have to do it from the ground. The one that, like, you, you, you shoot yourself down and do a big stab. Oh, right. I think you have to unlock it, maybe. I don't know. But yeah, uh, Insect Glaive is great. I think it's so fun, so cool. I just never really use it. If there's weapons that I, sh I want to use more, it's definitely going to be Dual Blade, Switch Axe, and Insect Glaive. Charge Blade, I feel like I've used enough of. Also, Light Bow Gun. I think I would probably want to use these four more the most. They're just fun and cool. Everything else is fine and good, but dual blades, switch axe, insect leaf, light bow gun. Very fun, very cool. And uh, maybe I'll use more. Maybe I'll force myself. Gun, shoot gun, gun shoots. I never really understood bow guns. Uh, it took me a while to figure them out. I feel like in this game it's the most straightforward. Um, although in world it also was pretty good but also the pierce ammo it just feels good i don't know how it was in world because i never really used it but the effects and all the the sound effects and everything it just feels great in this game also i think light bow gun might be the best weapon in the game don't quote me heavy bow gun uh, not much to say about it it's fine i've always liked the appeal of the range weapons in general it just always felt really cool uh, seeing the cutscene of them, like, making ammo and shit. It's pretty cool. Heavy Bowgun's just a bit too slow for me. 
Um, I liked I liked doing like pseudo speed runs with my viewers though using a heavy bow gun. Bow is so good in this game, but it you have to like unlock the silk bind thing that I really or the the switch skill to like being able to counter and stuff. But yeah, bow's great. I like bow. Bow's just a good weapon. Um, what is it? This. Sorry. That's a cool move. It just makes you do more damage, I think. It's the same as, uh... Greatsword has a diff uh, the same, basically. Anyways, focus shot makes you recharge stamina very fast, and you did this cool pose. And I think it's just really cool. Because you tend to have stamina issues in this game, so... Sorry, with, with bow. Or rather, I have stamina issues. Did I? No, I didn't. Alright, let's get out of here. So yeah, that's all the weapons. Uh, if I had to rate them, it would basically be like this. Uh, in terms of like my use up usability of them. Longsword's obviously at the top. These I feel like I can use well enough. The ones with one star, I don't feel super comfortable and I'd have to warm myself up. This one probably is going to be one star again, because I just it's been too long. Honestly. Sword and Shield's two stars just because I... I don't know. I'm still not really sold on it. But yeah. If I use these weapons a bit more to warm myself up, I could do an updated thing, but... As far as like weapons that I like... Definitely gonna be something like that. Yeah. I wouldn't go out of my way to, to really use the lances or the hunting horn. Same with heavy bow gun. And yeah, I mean, charge blade just doesn't feel as good in this game. And I think that might be not really gameplay related. It might just be like the effects and the sound effects or something like that. I'm not really sure. And the camera, camera angles and stuff. I don't know. Anyways, that's, that's all that. Hopefully that wasn't, um, you know, a lot. I know it was a lot, though. <laughs> so, anyways. Yeah. See you later. What do I need? That isn't... Oh, right. Let's try another Rathian, I guess. What is the highest chance to get it? I haven't gotten one yet. I feel like that's three per well. We're just gonna capture. Do I think they'll ever make a new weapon type? Honestly, I'm not sure. I don't think they will, but I would love to be wrong. Because I think, you know, I think that could do a lot potentially for this series. Maybe incorporate one of the frontier weapons, yeah. I mean, I think it would be great to see more Frontier things going on, but I don't see it happening again. I would love to be wrong, but I don't know, man. Just the way that they've been treating that whole thing makes me feel like they have no interest in it, which sucks. Speaking of which, I have been playing Frontier every now and then. I'm still working on, like, a series uh, of me playing it. They're going to be unlisted, but you can find it in my playlists um maybe i'll make public videos of them eventually but they're gonna stay unlisted for now also the last stream that i did i was playing frontier and it's a good game it's a really good game i was surprised i was excited and interested to play it but i wasn't really sure if i would like it because of what i've heard about it but honestly it's not really that bad in terms of difficulty like obviously i'm still in low low high rank and stuff like that but I've just been progressing, and the game hasn't really thrown anything at me that I couldn't really handle. And again, I guess we'll see how f how long that lasts. I don't know. We'll see. I missed. I really need to cut the tail off. Come 
kind of wasted most of that knockout. It's fine. That maybe wasn't a completely necessary, but... But yeah, it would be cool for them to... I think they have been adding more things from Frontier, though, which is interesting. Like, the advancing guard for, uh, for Greatsword, I believe that originates from Frontier. So, I really hope that means that maybe we will be seeing more things that are at least resembling, you know, the Frontier game. I don't know. All we can do is hope. Oh my god, I cannot hit this tail, dude. This is why I like Longsword. <laughs> well, one of the reasons. Okay. <laughs> Feels bad. Nice. One thing that's kind of whatever is the weapon length system. I'm not really too impressed by it. I don't really care. Um, I think the only thing that I really care about for weapon length is whether or not it's longer than normal, I guess? To make it easier to hit things, but... I don't know. I don't think it's a very interesting decision, or like, design, to be honest. Because if you make a weapon that's like, really good, but too short, I'm not gonna use it. Now that I understand, like, you know, the trade-off. I guess it really depends on what I'm going up against as well. That's probably a, a bit of a factor. <clears throat> that was really close. Do it again. Do it again. <laughs> That's so good. Oh my god. Can I get far enough away for this? Probably not. No, I can't. Big ass Rathian? It may be. Frog, how are you? Good to see you. There are so many frogs in chat. Can I get a frog emoji in chat? In the chat? Froggy chair. Furogi? Oh yeah, isn't that what they call rog rogi in Japanese? Sorry, I had to cough. Do it again, do it again. No, I think it's because she's tied up, maybe. She's gonna she's gonna run. Like right now, watch. Yep, there it is. Goodbye. Oh, I guess I'll carve this. I could tell because she was doing the I'm about to run animation while she was tied down with the uh you know, the wire books. But they can't run when they're tied up, but they'll still do that animation. Um and then, of course, we were. We staggered her with another attack. And once she recovered from the stagger, the first thing that she wanted to do was run away. Because that's what she was telling us. With the. With the I'm running away and I'm. Is that two? Let's go! Alex. Rude ass. Okay. Man. Oh, come on. <clears throat> oh, yeah, it's a mine. It's a mine. Well, at least I got one of these. Please. <laughs> the other one would have been just. The other one would have just been damage, anyways. So. The first one would be a knockdown. Oh, ho, 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 let's go. You're my best pal.
Oh, gosh. Owie. Mistimed it. Oof. Come on. Don't you do it. Don't you do it. Get up. Get. Oh, wow. Come on. What the hell is that? Why was I stunned? The stages are all so complex. Yeah, I mean... I think it's kind of cool, honestly. Uh, there's a lot to learn and a lot to remember. Like, there's usually endemic life up, up and around, and there's like a... What are they called? There's that one, like, creature that increases the effects of your... of your used items. Gaming, yeah. And it, like, these things always spawn in some areas. Okay, I don't need a plate. I need a, a, a ruby. I need two rubies, actually. So, if you can remember where things spawn, <clears throat> then you can use them to your advantage. And I think that's really cool. And honestly, I've, w I've gone this long without doing that. And uh, I've started recently using Endemic Life more. And it's really fun. It adds an another layer to the game, which I kind of... I mentioned when I first played that like it was a really cool system that you could pick things up and like use them, but like I never really used it. Hey Braino, good night. I hope you have a great day. Or night, sorry. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out. Let's go over here. Like, I know that there is a puppet spider. Puppet to spider. Like over Yonder? Hmm. This is why I have it set, like you can see in the minimap how, how dense this is, or even if I just pull this up. Yeah, there's a puppet spider like, like over there on that cliff side I think. Oh yeah, there's a water beetle that always spawns down there which is super useful. Um, there's an anti-dobro over here which I like to pick up if I'm fighting poisonous monsters. They'll actually, they'll cure your poison and they'll actually make you immune to poison which is interesting. But of course, sometimes maybe not the best of uses because like you don't really want to get hit by poisonous attacks even if you are immune because you'll still take damage. So. <coughs> S-cure goes are fine, they're, they're like the health. Uh, the health recovery things from world. You know the ones. No, I hit her fucking neck again, dude. I actually hate it here. Yeah, you see the uh, the rainbow the rainbow man up in the top left. That's not that's not just gay pride. That's just uh, immunity to I think I'm assuming just poison. And also it's gay pride, of course. <clears throat> Be funny. Anyways. If someone who played this game was like gay or something and they got that printed out and like used it as a patch or something. <laughs> that'd, be, that'd be funny. That'd be cool. Is he gonna be enraged again? He? Sorry, she? I hit her fucking neck! I hate it here! Did I get a, did I get a knockout? Oh, Bishop. And... Yeah, see there's... What are they called? Clothing things? Or is it pepper sects? Makes you immune to all status effects. Really? That's why the buffs are rainbow? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. That's fucking sick, dude. That's way cooler than than I thought before. Yeah, anti dobers are sick, dude. Wow. If they bring back uh, the sleeping the sleep palumu, then I'll probably be looking for anti dobers constantly, or like even like Yana.
What am I doing? I'm fucking stupid. I did it again. This is I do this shit all the time. <laughs> ah! No, Rathian's female, Rathalos is male. I thought you were memeing, so I didn't say anything. <laughs> nice, there we go, let's go! Woo, that's what we're waiting for! Do it again, you won't. I dare you. Oh. Well, I mean, still kind of worked out. Hey. Like how the Bullfango's just chilling out, just sleeping through this entire scuffle. Oh, no, he's woken up. Nice. What the fuck? Get me out of here. <clears throat> Please come off. Oh, 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 gamers. Oh my god. Sometimes I really just do be that way, Rathian, you know? When you try your best, but you don't succeed. Etc. Cool charge. What? Come on, dude. Come on, bro. Bro. <laughs> that you say it, it doesn't make sense. Consider Rathian, Rathian charge blakes have female names? Yeah. This should fix it. Yeah, so it should, should be that way sometime. You think I can break her back? Oh, hey. A second chance. It, she's still... Yeah, she sure is. Is she gonna go to sleep? Huh? Come on. Why would she go up there if she wasn't gonna sleep? Is it because I'm too close? Oh! <laughs> yes. Yes, go to sleep. You're completely safe. You've lost me. I couldn't. I couldn't find you. I couldn't keep up. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Are you, okay. Actually, is she gonna? Is she gonna go to sleep? Actually. being boring. Rathian's one of my favorite fights. So apologies if I kind of dance around her a little bit. It, 
she might just be my favorite fight because it's like easy. <laughs> the, like one of the easiest. That's totally, totally possible. Dear Lutemis. Yeah, I think so. There's deer. There's two deer things, I think. Uh, the deer hunter. Monster snapper. <laughs> oh. Spinal. <laughs> oh, come on. <sighs> I mean... Oh, I got a medulla. I have fucking six plates from, like, this stuff, dude. <laughs> Alright. Have a look around. Have a look around. Blah, blah, blah. Can I make any of these? Should I make any of these right now? Some hunters literally take hours. I'm used to waiting. Okay. Okay. Let's try one more time. Hello. These are the available questions. You know, it took me until like today to realize that I was not actually using the ramp up system. Uh raison <laughs> d'être. Uh, I guess raison d'être. I don't know if you would separate them. Doesn't être mean like to be? This is like raisin of 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 ex existence. I don't know, man. Remember to show maximum tight. Yeah, for maximum luck. I wish I knew more like about different languages. It'd be cool to be able to speak another language. <gasps> the fortune owl. What? Hello? Ow! Fucker. Pick up... Is there anything up here? No, not really. I think there's an Aurortal down there. Raisin of being? Hmm. Perhaps. Hey, I did it, finally. Holy shit. I was just about to ask where the Thunder Beetle is in this map, but I fucking know where the Thunder Beetle is. It's like right around the corner. Oh fuck, I thought it was far enough away. That's why I grabbed the cheeky little, uh, Auntie Dobra. Alright, if she's gonna be lame, I'm just gonna go grab my Thunder Beetle. 
be good to get the, the water beetle too, but priorities. Think she'll follow me? No. Yeah, okay. Let's fight here. Okay, no. Do it again, yeah. Rucky. Nice, that's what we've been waiting for. <laughs> Broke her head. No! You best not be running away. Nice. 